What is good y'all? I am back for another Dragon Ball Legends video and it's been a hot minute since I did something other than a PvP video but we back. We back. Today I'm gonna be looking at this fudging I guess Japanese tier list from this person. I'm gonna be reacting to it because honestly like godly tier looks pretty good but when you start going down it kind of gets a questionable. We're just gonna be looking at it. So yeah let's start. I guess I'll start with each color right let's start with the red number one my baby boy zamasu what can i say i funny love zamasu he feels like he feels like a fucking real summonable character which is really good he's a fucking zenkai and honestly he's top 10 5 being top 10 right now is actually not even that bad because there's a lot of good units but what can i say about zamasu bro bro is just him with the he's literally just him with the he has so many good gimmicks, his healing, bro, most of the time, like with the mid-star uh, Gogeta 4, he could survive his ult, then he pops his ult, he heals it all back up, right? His green card has good utility, he gets a lock in, and he gets type neutral, and he does so much goddamn damage. Only thing that kinda hurts him, I guess, is he doesn't have that much cover null, which is good, because if he did have a lot of cover null, he will be really broken. So you can cover change on him, but other than that, he's the GOAT. I, Red is actually dumb bad. <laughs> Next we got Fudging Super 17. Brother, this unit costs so much god dang damage in the Dragon Ball Legends community. It feels like it was just yesterday. It was actually a few months ago. I don't think he's E+. Honestly, I think Shin is E+. Shin? feels like Pan. If you remember the meta of Pan, that was one of the most most annoying characters ever. Shin kind of feels like her with his dis disruption with against strike cards, bro. So goddamn annoying. With that, I'd actually put Shin in Z+. Because he's just really goddamn annoying. Then after Shin, I'll probably put Vegito Blue only because his tech with the Gogeta 4, where Gogeta 4 gets his gauge and then you can just pop his ult. And Vegito Blue's all still does a shit ton of damage, right? So that's good. And then I'll probably put Super 17 and then Beast Gohan. Yeah, Red is kind of down bad. Alright. Let me go to Yellow. Okay, obviously Blue Gogeta. My boy Blue Gogeta had the best come up in this entire anniversary. I was the number one Blue Gogeta fan. I like Gogeta in general, right? So I did summon on him over Vegito. And even though both of them are still, I think they're tied as how good they are with each other. I think Vegito will age better because of his rush mechanic. Gogeta is really good right now because of <laughs> Gogeta 4. And the fact that he, I mean, okay, he doesn't technically ignore cringy gauges. Like, he does a good job at it, but he doesn't straight up ignore them. That's the only problem I have with this guy. Other than that, yeah, he's really fucking good. <laughs> he just he's good bro. He's just good. What else can I say? Alright. Z plus? We got Ultra UI and hell no. No no no. My boy baby's coming in Z plus. I do not care. Baby is releasing to back tomorrow. If I don't pull him bro, I'm on Sui S I D E watch bro. I really want to run a good GT setup. I love running GT. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'll probably have Baby over MUI only because mm, Baby probably just has a better team right now. That's the truth. I think MUI is good, but Gogeta's gauge does kind of counter what he does, his lock in. So that's kind of cringe on his part. I think Baby just overall just does better in the meta. Yeah. Okay, Kid Boo bro, I have not seen this character on any list in 30 years, but regarding colors, and let me let me check the yellow color because I actually forgot what characters are in yellow. Let me, bro, why am I on equips bro, am I tweaking? Character list bro. Alright, yellow, and order, received I guess. Where's the one? 
card numbers, there you go. What am I missing? I need you. I need you. Okay. Mm. Okay. Honestly, no troll. I probably put the gammas at least over Bardock and Kid Boo. I know this is really cringe because anything past baby is irrelevant. Probably put the gamma still. Cause at the end of the day, what do they do? They still have long combos and they still have their big attack. What is Kid Boo doing? Popping his green and comboing? Nah bro. I mean he is actually doing that but in a day where you pop, you get countered for doing that. Yeah bro, nah. Kibu also does have his Vanish Restore on blue. And that's good. He, he actually has good healing as well. But he's not that defensively good. Yeah, he's not that defensively good anymore. Oh yeah, he also has that Rush Nullification thing. I guess it's pretty good. But he has Endurance. Yeah bro, I probably could put Kibu in A. Probably put Gammas over Kibu still. Funnily enough, this meta is very offensive, not even defensive. Bro, that's a cap. That's actually real big cap. I've been saying I'm on the JP servers. Everybody plays lame as hell, man. That's the problem with Dragon Ball that I'm getting a quick rap, bro. It's like offensive units, you can have a defensive playstyle with them. And with defensive units, you have a defensive playstyle. Whatever, that's just Dragon Ball Legends game engine. You can't even talk about that. And he'll probably put Gamma, at least over Bardock, bro. Bardock, what the fuck does he do? Alright, purple, no brainer. Number one, two, and three are solid. Yeah, number one, two, three. I'm not even gonna say anything. They're good. G4 is Big Daddy, bro. One shot alt, resets neutral t three times. Alright. I remember I seen a list uh, from Duval. He's like, it was like a. Pull. It's like what's the most toxic unit? People were voting G4 over Gohan. I feel like Gohan's more toxic. Anything that re uh, removes your vanishing gauge is so cringe to me. He restores his too, so it's really hard to get a combo with him. At least with Gogeta, you have counterplay trying to get rid of his gauge early, so later on you can, you know, do what you want to do. This guy also has endurance for God knows what. And he fucking cancels rushes. I mean, uh, rush nullifications or whatever. So it's really hard to one shot him. Yeah, bro. Gohan is probably the most toxic unit released in this anniversary. IMO. You got Ultra Freezer, bro. My boy is just surviving. He's just surviving. He's just surviving, bro. He's just doing his thing. He released like a few months ago. He's still pretty good. I swear if we get another Frieza Force character, I think Frieza Force would actually be a legit team. Okay, then we got Vegeta and Nappa. I mean, they kind of fell off really hard. The fact that they were purple Saiyan, and we got another purple Saiyan, they kind of got replaced by G4. Especially for the people who are just using them, just to use them, because they weren't that bad. But now you can just use G4 over them. Right? And then Bola and Vegeta. Right now, I use them on my GT team as well because I don't have anything else. I don't got Baby, I don't got Bomb Poo. But I guess they're good. They just support demons. They just make G4 better. I'm running purple, purple, red. So they just make G4 one shot hit harder. Alright, green. We got Rat Han. I'm seeing a lot of Rat Han Salander. Like, of course he fell off. He's still not bad, bro. He still goes type Nooch. He's still last man standing. You can still solo your team. Alright. For the Z plus. Mm, no key, let me check purple real quick. Let me see anybody. Nope. She my boy getting you. My boy getting you. Okay, fuzz up. That's about green. Okay. Green as a whole just fell off, but I'm sorry god Goku. I would probably put uh, Majin Skinny Boo over Wild Goku only because 
Disruption is so god dang annoying and Skinny Boo has such good disruption. He goes neutral. He can fudging stop your combos and stuff. Okay, if G4 didn't release, he could survive hits, bro. Ever since G4 released, he can't. But you can say that for all the green characters. So, I'll probably swap Boo over God Goku. Because God Goku's defensive utility is Dookie. What does he do? Nothing. Nada. Right? He's offensively good, but offensive greens are not it right now. That's why this disruption green probably better. And then we got Pycon. Fudge it, bro. I'll leave Pycon. Having a revive is good, no matter what. No matter what, having a revive is good. What else greens do we got? I mean, Broly or G4. Broly or G4? Broly or G4? Broly or G4? I mean, it doesn't really matter. Probably put Broly over G4 still. Mmm, will I? Will I? What does Broly do better than G4? Longer combos, I guess. G4 doesn't have that many long combos. And his damage is actually falling off really hard right now. I mean, his alt hits really hard, but that's it. His regular cards are just whatever. Probably put Broly over G4 still. Any disagreeers? Any disagreeers? Alright, blue. Super Fajito. Yeah, bro, you're just good. You're really good. You're just a good unit, bro. Ain't no too overwhelming, overwhelmingly toxic. You're just a good goddamn unit. Okay, his rush thing is actually toxic. I don't care. Oh, reds? Bro, probably put Omega Shenron. How could I forget my boy Omega Shenron? I'll put him over fudging Beast Gohan at least. Omega Shenron's actually... Okay, he's not top 10. He's still really good. The fact that everybody forgets that he uh, cancels buff on uh, Rush or Special Arts move. So you can't technically one-shot him. And he's really tanky. And he gets up to like 4 million health like around there. Which is really god dang tanky. I would say Omega Shenron's pretty good. I'd probably put him in A. Maybe S if I'm being for real. Because I'd probably want Omega Shenron over Vegito. Because Vegito's probably more offensively better. But Omega Shenron's not that offensively bad. He does mad debuffs. Right? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Okay, back to blue. Jeez, how can I forget about my goat? Alright, Vegito's obviously number one. Like, ain't nobody in the right mind's gonna argue that. Kid Boo. Kid Boo, bro. I think I agree with Blue, honestly. Kid Boo's good. He's just good, though. He's not really dang. Actually, Blue is actually falling off too a lot. Like, once you go past Super Vegito. The thing with Bomb Koo is like. His defensive gauge is just falling off. Power Creep, bro. What are you gonna do? And then Broly's a gimmick. Once his fucking alt is gone, his gimmick is over. Right? Broly deserves to be as. But his one gimmick is actually really fun and really strong. Other than that, it's every. Yeah, I'll probably leave it like that. And then, my least favorite character in all Dragon Ball Legends Goku and Bardock are a place time. Put Hero Hurt Rule. Am I missing any blues? Shit, bro, I put Janemba over him. I actually put Janemba over him. Powerful opponents, not even that bad. Strike based powerful opponents. And then uh, there's a lot of strike characters in the meta. And then Janemba's ult hits really hard. Probably put Janemba over Goku Bardock, not gonna lie. It doesn't really matter though. These characters are not top 10. Alright. In the end, it's a decent tier list. Cause it's ranked by color you see a lot of non-popular characters it is what it is right but red is probably more suspicious to me because shin is so goddamn annoying and omega is like omega's omega he's kind of annoying too but not shin level yellow is also pretty weird because you got kid boo and bardock like but what are you gonna do about it what other yellows are there yellow's just down bad got three good honestly two and a half good yellows MUI, you on Fraud Watch, bro. I called him MUI. UI, you on Fraud Watch, bro. 
You can't tank for anything. Your gimmick is not that good anymore. Shockingly. It's a, it's a really toxic gimmick, but... What are you going to do about it? Anyways, I probably get this tier that's probably like 7 or 6 out of 10. Anyways, if you made this fun video, like, subscribe, and 